Welcome in second part video of fringe width. In this video, we determine the fringe width of bright fringes. In previous video, we have determined that <coughs> part difference between two interfering rays is Xn small d upon capital D. For bright fringes, part difference between the rays equal to n lambda and Xn small d upon capital D becomes equal to n lambda and xn becomes small n capital D lambda upon small d. xn represents the position of nth bright fringe and position of n plus 1th bright fringe it should be n plus 1 capital D lambda upon small d. Now we want to determine the fringe width of bright fringe it should be xn plus 1 minus xn or n plus 1 d lambda upon small d minus value of xn is small n d lambda upon small d small d calcium n plus 1 capital D lambda minus n d lambda or n d lambda plus d lambda minus n d lambda upon small d and d lambda cancel out and w becomes capital D lambda upon small d this is fringe width for bright fringes and this fringe width depends upon separation between source and screen wavelength of monochromatic light and separation between coherent sources thank you